All right, what's up guys? It's me Master and welcome back to another video. So, for the beginning of quarantine, I joined a server called the Corona S&P. Now, this was more than a server, it was a community. It was a it was a server where I made a lot of friends and other people did also. It was incredibly fun and it was the best experience I've ever had uh, on an S&P. So, I felt like it needed a tribute. I hope you enjoy. See you guys in the next one. Let me know when you want to get started. Okay. Well, I built I built like a little table here, something. I don't know. What, you call this a table? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you stand on it? Or am I supposed to like eat here? What kind oh, of a table? Like here. All right, Medster. Welcome right, to the start. interview. All right. What's up, Tiff? Yay. Hi. Hello, Shindy. Yay. Hi. Okay. Are we starting now? Whenever you're ready. Okay. Thank you. What are you wearing? Okay, so first question is, uh, what made you want to start an SMP server? So I want to start an SMP server because I thought a lot of players nowadays with with COVID going around, they didn't really have much to do, or just kind of just I don't know, like threw a rock in their life, and they're like, well, shit, I got all this time. Uh, where do I spend it? All right. And then I decided, hey, an SMP is a pretty cool idea. I've done SMPs all my life. I've probably have like six years of of smp on my belt i think i'm qualified to host one so i said hey why not recruit on reddit on forums on everything and just try to get a bunch of players together and build a community and what i wanted more than this smp server was a good community to make some friends in and i think i've done that uh what, what made you want to join the corona smp um i was looking for <laughs> Um, okay, I was looking for a, a survival server to play on, and I wasn't really looking for community, I was just looking for a survival server, but when I, when I realized, like, SMP, whoa, that, that's, that sounds cool, I made new friends and stuff, uh, so yeah, I just looked for uh, SMP on the forums, I found it, and I'm glad I joined, I made an awesome new friend. Alright, um, so first question, uh, what made you want to join the server? Well, since, like, the outbreak was going on, and, like, there wasn't really anything to do. And then my friend Chiro or Poba told me about the server and I just wanted to join. Okay, first first question. Uh, what made you want to join the server? Uh, it was mostly out of boredom. And uh, Tiff, my friends kept bothering me to join, so I did. And I enjoyed the time here. Very fun. <laughs> Sorry. Just... <laughs> <laughs> uh, UPG is uh, messaging me. Sure. Well, first question. Oh, shit, I got an Amber <laughs> Oh shit, I did as well. <laughs> okay, uh, first question. Uh, what made you want to join the server? 
Oh, you faggot. <laughs> Alright, first question. What made you want to join the server? You know, me, me and Zach, uh, quarantine just started, and we were just vibing. Zach was like, yo, what if we just started an SMP? And I'm like, I mean, I'm a PvPer, you could do that. And he's like, bet. And then he made it. And then it started with, with me, Zach, and an old friend who had a, uh, a jar of uh, nasty fills. And uh, that was the start of the SMP. <clears throat> Cool. I know. <laughs> Super John. <laughs> okay. Uh, second question. What was your favorite moment on the server? Best moment on the server was probably pranking Geo. There's a clip of that. Is there something meant to be in these suspenses? <laughs> Look at your armor. Oh, for fuck. <laughs> <laughs> the organization for that prank was so shit. But we still managed to, to get it to work, and I, I think you liked it. All right, next question is, what was your favorite moment on the server? I'm not really sure. Like, I had fun every day. So, like... Do you have an example I mean, of a certain moment? The events were really fun. Like, the dragon event, that was when I actually first talked to the other members of the server. And was what was cool. your favorite moment on the server? Honestly, uh... Building that bookshop, you know? <laughs> Very fun. Like, I can be with UPG. We almost um, made a lawsuit for you. Like, go finally used a court, but we never did. Yeah, I have in my to-do book, uh, Sue. Hey, you're not allowed to talk. No, Get the fuck out of here. here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, question number two. What was your favorite moment on the server? Oh, shit. I have a lot, but definitely making uh, my shops, you know, getting called probably the shittiest builder on the server. <laughs> I actually have um, uh, a part in my uh, tour video where I make fun of your old design for your uh, bookshop. For my bookshop? Oh, yeah, it's fantastic. Yeah, Did you way. remember to mention the fact that his windows were uneven and I <laughs> think Armin never told him until, like, way after? <laughs> no, I didn't. But now now they know. What was his favorite moment on the server? Um, ooh, that's actually a hard question. And I wrote it. <laughs> I fucking wrote it. Oh, yeah, it's probably when we, me and you switched places. That was hilarious. Oh, yeah, that was funny. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh what, what, why? Why was the server such a success in your in, in your team? No, that's not it. You didn't send me the other <laughs> fucking question. I'm reading the five in general. So, um, did you get what you uh, uh, what you were expecting okay. out of the server, or something like that? Tell me when to start. You can start it whenever. <laughs> it didn't stop recording. Are you gonna start out? Um, yeah. Did you get what you uh, expected out of, out of the server? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just. Like... No, you said it well. It's just your fucking tone. You sounded like hey. you were lost, Nick. Hey, hey Medster, what are you wearing right now? You got some jammies on. <laughs> Yeah. I'm wearing a shorts and a t-shirt. C can you be the caterino to my Carson? Third question. Uh, why was a server such a success in your opinion? Uh, I think the server was such a success in, uh, because like, I think it's just the members to be honest. I think that the members were very interested in the server and they had a lot of fun. I think that they recognize that I'm a host that actually cares and it's not the type of guy who's like, all right, here's your server. Do fuck all now. I don't care. I hosted events like every single week. I took time to, to get to learn uh, things about the, the members and, and such. I, I think a lot of it has to do with just the members caring and wanting this to be something and not just another random shit survival server and the fact that I wanted it to be something and I put a lot of time. Did you get what you were looking for out of the server? Or did you expect more? I um, I got more than I was expecting actually. I was just expecting uh, another survival server that I'll probably not play on for a while but I actually made good friends and I uh... Why was the server such a success in your opinion? I don't think that's a good question for uh, other players. Whatever. You can answer it. I mean... I think it's because there was really nothing to do during the outbreak, and then Zach started his server, and it just allowed people to join in and talk to new people. Well, uh, third question. Did you get what you were looking for out of the server? Yeah, just to have fun and play with friends and talk to new people. Did you get what you you were looking for out of the server? Uh, yeah. I, I obviously could have done more to make my experience like a thousand percent, but I just I just fell off, you know? Fourth question. What was your favorite event? My favorite event. My favorite event was probably the party games event since I won that one. 
that was a lot of fun. I also got to to crush your morale in that yeah. one. You thought you you thought you'd be a good party games master. Not when it comes to me. All right, I am the party games master. There's no beating me. I had more fun crushing yourself with seeing than I did winning that event. All right, best event. I was so confident. I won the first one. Like I beat you so hard, and then you just. Uh, reverse, <laughs> you beat me so hard in the second two, in the other two games, it was hilarious. What was yes. your favorite event on the server? Uh, probably the one month, the one month event, cause I got, uh, I was a part of it, like, immensely, cause I did the, the stage and the... Who are you texting? <laughs> <laughs> um, um, and yeah, I, um, I com contributed, that's the word, um, a lot, and yeah, it was a, it was a fun event. It's a dragon event, like I said before, because... I got to talk to new people. What would you say your favorite event was? I had to be the party hype, the high pixel party games event. That one was really fun. Even though you lost, it was still fun. Yeah, Gary. The point isn't winning, Zach. It's having fun. The reason you say that, Metzger, is because you lost. <laughs> and I, won. I I can beat you now. I've been playing more. I highly doubt that. What was your favorite event on the server? Oof. See, I was very limited to them because uh, I slept. But um, definitely the one year because you know we we did catch people one lagging year? and yeah. No, oh, oh, one month. Uh, sorry. Okay. <laughs> Ten points. Uh, well, final question. Uh, how was your first death? Is is this a proper question or is this just like you you fucking with me? <laughs> No, I ran out of uh, of uh, question ideas, so I just made one up. My first death, I'm not going to lie, it did kind of upset me. I Hold on a second. He's not supposed to live. I, I didn't think that I would die that way. I thought I was going to die. You know what? Let's do this a different way. That wasn't my first death. My first death was dying in the end, but you never saw it because I cleared it, all right? I cheated him. I'm admitting to right now. Whole world, I cheated, all right? I, no I removed my, my first death. The thing the thing about the first death, right? I, I switched the server over to a spigot server because I wanted to add in, like, a block logger and stuff because some members are assholes, and they think that they, they should cheat on an SMP because it's, it's cool or something. I don't know. People are weird. But uh, I got a block logger, and I, I fucked up the end, all right? Somehow the ender dragon respawned or, or, or something. I don't know. But he destroyed your end farm. And I was AFK in your end farm. As soon as I log on, I insta die. And I was like, nah, 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 I'm not having this shit. So what I did was I went in the server files and I pulled my player data from the day before and put it into the one of that day. So I got all my items back and I cleared my, my death. So that was technically my first death. The one with the creeper that you know of, that one did upset me a little bit. I didn't think it would one shot me. I really thought I would survive that. How was, uh, how was your first death, Medster? Oh, it was the first day I joined, actually the first five minutes I joined. I got blown up by a creeper, and I, I remember I texted in chat, uh, good start, good start, and uh, yeah. 58 deaths, and, and yet you're one of the most su successful men on the server. You think? I mean... I mean, not like you, you know, went, went crazy with the builds, but... <laughs> Dang. You should have died for that. Yeah. <laughs> Final, final one. Uh, how was your first death? It was quite depressing since I was busy getting dark oak wood for two hours for you, Redster. Oh, really? <laughs> it was. Yeah. <laughs> That's hilarious. I still have like a full double chips the the, the wood you might use it. <laughs> because the churro is poor and she needed the diamond. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, well, final question. Um, how was your first death? What happened? Uh, I got blown up by a creeper in the mine. What sucked is that I my wife I was really bad at the time, so I lagged back. And <laughs> the creeper blew up and I came back. The next thing I knew, I was dead. Final question. Um, how was your first death? How did you die? It was, it was a rainy day on April uh, the sixth. I I was in a tree. At, it used to be the old spawn. It was just a forest. And I, I saw Zacky poo. And I'm like, you know, I'm just gonna shoot at this man. I think it, I think that'd be pretty funny if I landed a shot and I just hid. And I shot at him. And right. Oh god, he's typing. And um, and then he uh, and he's like, "Oh, you want to do this?" And I'm like, "I don't care, not really." And then he comes up to me, and then he starts swinging. All right, but it's not just normal swinging. This man had a, had a diamond sword, and then uh, and then UBG was slain by Zach seventeen oh two. That that was my first death. Yeah. Well, Zach, <laughs> you deserved it.
Hey, what's up guys? It's me, Metster, and welcome back to another video. So today, we are on the Corona SMP server. Uh, to show you guys a tour. So, this is a really cool server I played on for around a month. Th this uh, was a really cool world. There was a, a bunch of people that played here constantly every day. That includes me. And uh, yeah, we're gonna see all the players' creations and spawn and, and all the bases. Well, all the places I can get from the nether hub, basically. I guess we should start uh, with spawn point. Um, someone built this so yeah you spawn here uh, i'm gonna show you where it started uh it started with this shop uh which is the food shop created by zach the owner and it's basically where i got all my source of food the sh second shop that was ever built on the server and it's the enchanted bookshop now it didn't look like this originally i if i can find a screenshot i'm gonna put it on the screen <laughs> And uh, yeah, it's a pretty cool store. We have a, a villager trading hall that I'm gonna show too. Yeah, basically all the books are sold here. Next is this shop. Now this is um, the same owner as this, Nick, and he built a block shop. Now he made a fortune with this. I bought like every single wood in here. I think it was this it was created after. I'm not sure but yeah this is one of the first shops but it got never finished so i have no idea what was going to be sold i think it was prismarine um i think it's esme that built this now this is the very legal weed shop it says a canadian shop which is pretty funny because if you didn't know can marijuana is illegal in canada well not for me i'm a minor but whatever uh so yeah you can buy weed which is awesome now after this it's uh, a really cool barge uh, or caravan i don't know <laughs> then let's move on to the market you have the wool shop which was the first market i think um then you had the um, the steak shack by upg but it wasn't originally that before it was a uh, horse horse um whatever you could buy horses here and i believe no one bought any horses from here and i i want to stay true to that statement because i i believe it in my heart <laughs> uh then you have the arrow shop it's a really cool pixel art then here you have my shop, which is a rocket shop. It's not even, it's not stock right now. Now this is um, the first mob uh, mob shop that was ever built on the server. And uh, the owner of the shop actually is not playing anymore. And he stopped playing before I joined, so yeah. He was selling um, a bit of stuff, which is awesome. Uh, now let's move to my shop. This is my first shop I've ever built. Um, the second day I played on the server, or the third, I don't know. I made a iron farm, so I was able to supply this easily, and I will show you how much iron I have. I have probably three of these, so uh, yeah, I pretty I pretty much had uh, infinite iron. Now you have um, that shop next. Now we have uh, the our me and UPG's competition, and uh, honestly, it's not as good as ours. The only good thing they have is the mending books now over here um i guess rocks <laughs> um i never bought anything here but it's pretty cool they sell gravel which is really useful now you have a bunch of these scattered um around spawn it's just so you can get your diamonds i actually don't have any diamonds uh but yeah after you have this really cool um dye shop by uh, weirdo and uh yeah they sell all the dyes and it's uh really really cool uh after this you have the the animal goods and uh yeah it basically sells all the animal needs name tags is really good now this i have i forgot who built this i think it was jack now you have um the really controversial uh casino from uh, nick i mean it's terrible like you what you have to do is you pay one diamond and then you can break one of these blocks and you if you find a chest then you earn, you earn five diamonds but you have to pay one diamond to, to play and it's a really low chance there's probably like five chests in all of this um, now it brings to this wonderful creation uh, this is supposed to be an elytra. Uh, yeah, it's it's a creation from me and Zach. It's a awesome casino. I don't have any diamonds right now. What, what you do is it's um it's a really simple contraption. It's just like a item detector. It's like a storage system, kinda. But then it sends out a signal to a dispenser. So every time a diamond comes in, 
that comparator sends a signal into a compa uh, into a um, boring. Um, and if you won ten times, then you could win uh, mending a breaking of elytra, which is amazing. After that, we have another ATM. Then you have um, the bakery by Shindy. This is pretty cool. Well, you can get uh, a bunch of stuff. That's that's really good. I should have bought these instead of the pumpkin pie. Um, then you have the farmer's market by Buck Girl or Ella. Um, yeah, she sold a bunch of stuff. Uh, she also sold slime balls, and it, I think it was one slime ball for uh, 16 golden blocks. Or something ridiculous like that, but I don't remember. Um, now this, I have no idea what it is. I never saw it before. A potion shop. And I don't think it got ever finished. Um, now we have uh, JSS, Swarms, and uh, Ella. I think I think it was a honey store, but it never got constructed fully. Now this is Yelp by, uh, by QQ. It basically has every shop, well, almost every shop. And you can write reviews. Yeah, I wrote this. It should go to Med and Zach's Casino instead. It's just like um, a shameless plug. Now this, this I have no clue what it is. I, I've never seen this before. It's a really cool build, I have to say. Jesus. So yeah, who is this? Uh, oh, it's uh, okay. It's churros. It's bread. She sells bread and uh, other food. It's cool. Awesome. A gold shop. Ooh, does that mean we have a gold farm? So I, I think um, Dreamcast built this because I, I think he said he wanted to build a gold shop. So this is pretty cool. Now, okay, let's get into this because this is absolutely sick. Um, Dreamcast built this. It's a really cool town hall, and he uh, he had to buy off like a. Uh, like four people's plots just to build it because it's absolutely massive but yeah i have no idea why he built this but yeah he also built the eiffel tower <laughs> jesus christ and the massive tree i guess he was looking for stuff to do but man it actually looks amazing it, it really brings the town together oh yeah we also have that and that's uh built by uh ella and it's not actually finished, but this was uh, gonna be a museum. So we explored that side, now let's go over here. Now, uh, this, it was built by Trouble. Uh, she never finished it, but it was about to be a concrete, a concrete shop. This is a uh, gal, never did anything with it. GSF, again, never did anything. Um, now this is my shop called the Block Cave. Uh, it's basically the rock shop, but I built it first, so the other guy copied me. I basically sold diorite, um, andesite, uh, and all that stuff, because um, uh, I had to clear a mountain to build uh, something in my base, but uh, I'll, sh I'll show later. Um, this is... I have no clue. I don't even know who owns this. Alright, so here we have the snowball shop by Booper. Um, he sells snow. Yeah, he sells snow. A recycle shop. Now, I have no idea what was, how was this shop going to work, but it has a pretty cool banner. And, uh, yeah, it looks pretty cool. I think, yeah, Swift, Swift built, built this. Now, this is, this is probably, like, the coolest shop here. Cause it's the coolest concept. It's basically a bookshop. You get to write yourself a book, and here, this shop will promote it. Which is awesome. I never actually wrote one because I'm really bad at writing. I'm more of a math and science guy. Uh, but yeah, you can put it in different categories. It's, it's actually like really awesome. I think it's uh, Mitch Bird that built this. I can't, I think it's, yeah. Now, this is my slime shop. Now, I got really lucky and I chose like a, a little portion of a swamp. Um, and yeah, it makes the grass look way more. Uh, way cooler in my opinion now you have jack's really cool um end shop where you basically bought shulker shells and uh elytras now this is another shop by upg and it's uh well another shop where you can buy wither skulls and other nethery items all right so here we have an unfinished project that zach and jack did uh it was a it was supposed to be a hotel and yeah, you could buy rooms and storage here. I I, I supplied them with all the, um, the dark oak. I had a free access to a penthouse, but it was never constructed. So uh, now this was built 
I have no clue. I forgot. I think it was a, a player that joined pretty late. Um, but yeah, I don't. I don't think he sells anything. I think he just built it because it looked cool, and it, it actually looks pretty cool. Uh, not gonna lie. So yeah, welcome. This is the wall. What you basically did is you put a um, promote. How do you say this? An advertisement for your shop, and people will come here and see if uh, if anyone sells the item. And uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Over here we have the C shop. Um, now they sell sponges. Now this is awesome. I actually bought them. There was only 15 in here. Uh, but yeah, they sell a bunch of really cool stuff. All stuff that's really grindy to get. I think uh, Tiff build this shop. Yeah, Tiff. Oh, Zach joined. That's pretty cool. Okay, so something unexpected happened. Um, Zach, the owner, just came on and gave me creative mode so I can fly around and look at uh, all the builds, which is awesome. Let's move on to my shop, and it's the last shop I've ever built on the server, and it's the mob drop shop. Um, now here we have uh, another drug shop, um, so I guess cops not allowed, that makes sense. Uh, so yeah, uh, well you can buy uh, cocaine, yeah, awesome. Now here you have a food shop, well it has a really cool uh, steak uh, pixel art at the top, so I... Oh, it's a butcher shop, okay. So I guess it's all the meat. Um, now you have a really cool monument that I don't know what's the purpose, but it, at least it, it looks pretty cool. Next we have uh, Tiff's Cathedral. They did this cause Trouble and I think Shindy got married. Yeah, they got a really cool ceremony here. I'm gonna show some screenshots. I took screenshots of it. Aww. I'm gonna go back over here because there's other cool stuff over here there's the i built this this is the the mon monument of the holy sheep um and yeah it's the jesus sheep here get off the monument um so here you have a pond that was built really early on and uh, yeah i used it to like convert concrete and this i built yesterday actually i came back on just to see uh what the the server all was doing but no one actually plays anymore when I when I joined back. So I just created this. This is actually all the diamonds. Uh, I think it's it's solid inside, by the way. It's not fake. It's um actually um I think it's a stack and 16 diamonds if I, if my memory is good. And yeah, I just used some some spare iron blocks to build a smiley face. I wrote some kind word words so for anyone that wanted to come back here. Uh, so yeah, this is uh, pretty much it for here. Let's move on to. Over over there this is where our one month event took place and uh, yeah it was really cool um, I got the task of building a dance floor and it, it looks awesome but yeah let's just activate it I think I messed up but it still looks pretty cool and uh, yeah I, I built this with a, a tutorial but I didn't build this with a, with a tutorial and it actually looks uh, took uh, a lot of time because I tried to make it really compact but there's a really cool thing that you can do is this awesome it's a battle arena um i personally never used it maybe people other people did i actually never went here before okay there's a guide 18 pages i'm not gonna read that sorry yeah that's pretty cool it's like a pvp arena all right so let's get away from spawn and let's go in the nether hub all right so yeah th this is the what the nether hub looks like it's really cool this is actually um a room that we had to clear out and uh yeah it, it took a lot of time but it, it was worth it. Now, a lot of people uh, contrib contributed, whatever, I don't know, uh, to this project. I did. I built the floor and I didn't put the slabs there. I, th I think Zach put them because uh, it prevents gas from spawning. But as detail, it looks pretty cool. Um, Zach also built this and he built the roof. Also, Swift helped a lot with the walls and the roof, ga gathering quartz and stuff. Um, also, Esme started the, the, the floor design. I just finished it. I, I built the, the shape of these doors. But Zach built every single room, which must must have taken ages. Jesus Christ. Um, I must start. Uh, let's start here. I must start exploring here. So this is da Dano. Wow. Okay, so this is Dano's base. It actually looks sick. I never went here before. Um, so you got a little bridge here. You got a wheat farm, sugarcane. I mean, he's a 
He's a really good builder. And he built pathways too. They don't lead to anywhere, but it looks sick. Oh, it leads to this. What is this? Whoa. Is that uh, supposed to be a design for a map? Or like you built a, a city or something? I have no idea. But I just know it, look, it looks really sick. I like the, the acacia wood. I never use acacia wood for building. Now, I believe this is Nick and Jack's base. Yeah, Jack is here and Nick is here. Oh, there's also Geo. Okay, there's a lot of people here. And uh, Respect. I think it's how you pronounce the name. I'm not sure. I have I actually have no idea how to go to his base. Oh, okay, there's a pathway. Okay, let's start with Respect. Okay, I actually, I actually can't go through there because uh, Creative Mode just teleports me back to the nether but i believe i think this is a wheat farm prove me if i'm wrong but yeah. uh okay so oh it's a pretty simple base oh wait never mind jesus so i think they mined a whole chunk out let me see oh no okay <laughs> they missed it but yeah that's pretty cool uh let's see if they have anything else no okay so they have a wheat farm cow farm and a huge um a huge hole with uh, a diamond mine. All right, now let's go to Jack's base because it's the furthest. No, actually it's not. Uh, it's just I'm gonna make fun of uh, of Nick uh, at the end because yeah, uh, you're you're gonna see you're gonna see it. Um, so yeah, this is um Jack's base. I don't know why he hasn't worked on his base because he worked on a lot of stuff. Yeah, he joined like a few days after me. And he never finished his base. Or started, which is confusing. Okay, now let's move to Nick's base. Now, I like to make fun of Nick. Um, and I, I've i made fun of his tunnel a lot. A lot, a lot. When I, uh, when I was playing here. And I, I'll show you why. I mean, there's nothing good about this tunnel. And I, I won't skip this, so let's just appreciate this together. Okay, um, so that's Nick's tunnel. Why didn't he do it in, in the straight line? I do not know. Actually, I think he was uh, trying to do a uh, an elytra tunnel, but yeah, it just turned out to be a really hard to travel tunnel. So here is uh, Nick's base. It's pretty cool. Here you have the concentration camp where you have a bunch of villagers breeding. So yeah, here is where we bring them out to go all the way to the villager trading hall. Um, now let's move to his house. Uh, I don't believe he built this. I think, I'm pretty sure um, it's uh, Esme that built this. Cause I, I don't, look what he built and look at this. I don't, I don't think he built this. Here you have his uh, farming area. Here you have his wheat, you have horses. He has a really small shuriking farm that doesn't provide a lot um now i built this uh because we own a business together the the bookshop so they're they're all uh the book villagers they're uh, for him i think they're all one emerald but i just put the the, the ones i actually use at one emerald okay so this is uh nick's really cool um potion room so that's pretty much it for nick's base all right, so next up, I actually do not know. Uh, this, oh my, this should, should have took a while to build. Jesus Christ, that's impressive. It's a, it makes a really cool effect. Uh, it is Turo, Tiff, Weirdo, Shindy, and Deeply Sober. So yeah, they're all basically a group. They work together. Holy shit, how many beacons do they have? Six, they have six beacons, Jesus. So this is their, their house. Uh, they have an egg farm, I see you. They have a bee farm, sheep farm, okay. Um, well, let's get in here. They have a cat suffocating in the bench. They have a cola aquarium. That's actually pretty sweet. Well, okay, well, they have a bunch of items. Down here, you have, ooh, a farm. Okay, automatic sugarcane, awesome. 
and again automatic shuriken they just use one tick farms do they actually work here yep then you can go down more to a jesus a massive wheat farm damn that's actually really big um so let's move on to the the yellow one it, it was yellow before but i think he changed it to gold it's dreamcast and qqs uh so let's get to qqs first because it's right over here i actually went here before uh, he had an interesting uh, base design. I mean, the concept is there. I'm just kidding. Uh, it looks pretty cool from the outside. It looks pretty cool. I don't know why he didn't put a room here. Oh, because it's on a mountain. Okay. Well, it's, uh, yeah, again, why is it not symmetrical? And this is Dream's base. I actually don't know where his gold farm is. Whip. Okay, whip. that's whip. I don't know what it means. Yeah, look at this tower. It's sick. I remember when he uh, posted it on Discord. I saw like I said like, "Wow, no way!" I didn't say that, but I said that to myself. It's a it's a really cool base. Okay, so that's his uh, main. Uh, uh, he has a bunch of farms down here. He has a cow farm, lava lake, uh, which is not full source block. He has a mini jungle here with pandas and a horse. Does he have a name? Nah. Here you have a small building. I don't know what it's for. Oh, okay, it's villager stations. He doesn't have any villagers here, though. Um, okay, let's get over here. Now, this is Zach's um, portal and Swift's uh, base, too. I don't know why it's broken, though. Oh, there's also GSF bug and Bug Girl. I don't know why it's broken. I want to fix it. I want to I wanna go uh, over here. So, this is where he built his first base. Um, it, it's pretty cool. It's in a swamp. Um, he didn't finish this though. Closed until further notice. Damn, I'm just look through the window then. Okay. Well, yeah, he has a nice staircase. I can see that. Uh, he has a building here. No idea what it, what it is. Like a treehouse maybe. And I think that's the hungry grow. The hungry boy is a um, banner. So Zach built this, and it took him a while. I remember. So first up should be Swift. Zach did a really cool banner design. It looks sick. Over here, you have like a brake station because the tunnel is so long. So it doesn't look really interesting from here. Swift bot, su super secret mine. Enter at your own peril. Bit rubbish in it. <laughs> okay. Um, well, I, I want to see this. Well, I agree with the other sign. So this is not interesting, right? Let's move on to his actual base. Look at this. This is actually amazing. This is awesome. He didn't um, finish it. But he did finish the hole. It looks awesome. Okay, so here is Zach's base. Zach's base. Now, there's actually a few things I built here to live for money. Like, auto farms. So, here you have a uh, really cool um, pixel art. Um, it's not actually built uh, on the server. It's a program, I'm pretty sure. He also built this. And, uh, yeah, it's basically um, Naruto, another, another person making out. Or CPR, as he says. Uh, this is a wheat farm. Uh, not a wheat farm. A uh, sheep a wolf farm I made for him. It's uh, it's pretty good. I think he died one of them. And this is a, a shuriken farm I built for him. His base is actually pretty big. Um, let's go here. I think he built like a small porch here or like this sea turtle station. There's a there's a couple of fish here. I guess you can fish. There's a dock. I I built this farm for him for him. And this was like at the beginning when I played. It was extremely hard to get those materials. But I did do it, and it does give him too many pumpkins. Like, look, the minecart isn't even picking it up because it's full. Um, he had a, um, a normal one. I, I just built uh, the this on top of it, just so it's autom automated. Up here um, is, well, his base. It uh, He used a lot of wood, which is cool. Now, this is a storage system. Um, so, yeah, let's go back up, because he has a really secret room. Uh, I think it's... Which one is it? Oh, it's right here. Alright, there we go. Uh, this is his treasure room. He has a trouble sword. He has a bunch of chests, too. And here he has a really overpowered uh, chicken farm. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much how we got all this pumpkin pie. And, uh, yeah. Now you get, um, you exit from here. I actually built this for him. Just like that. And you close it. All right, let's now go to GSFs and Buck Girls. Um, yeah, okay. I won't use a minecart because I remember um, it takes a freaking while to get to their base with the minecart. So I'll just fly over there. 
Oh, okay. So we're at Gal's base. Um, I have no clue where the portal is. Maybe it's okay. It's probably down here. Let's go to Gal first. Okay, so this is Gal's base. This looks pretty sick. Like I don't know what it is, but I I like it. Over here you have a, a semi-automatic carrot farm, which is awesome. Uh, sorry if you hear my brother in the background. He's retarded. Uh, so yeah. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it for Gal's base. Whew. Okay, finally we're at uh, Swarms, GSF, and Ella's portal. <sighs> okay, I think we're good. Um, okay, so this is a massive wheat farm, Jesus Christ. Uh, I don't know why you would need this for, but it looks really cool. Uh, so they have a pretty massive cow farm here. And a few horse stalls, pretty cool. I love the building style, by the way. It's really cool. Um, over here, you have another house. I think that's it for their base. Okay, so let's go in this district. Now, I think this is Trouble's base or nothing. Okay, so let's go to uh, Orange District. There's actually nothing here. Okay, there's a few portals here. Let's go to Mooksmart. He didn't actually play for a while. But I do remember seeing him on the server. Uh, so yeah, he has a, a pretty cool house, which is in uh, with an interesting roof design. I think it looks better from the inside. Yeah, pretty cool base, pretty cool base. Let's move on to the other one. Okay, so this is actually the closest base to my own. It's only like a hundred blocks away, or uh, to uh, three hundred, sorry, something like that. And uh, yeah, she, the her name is uh, Trouble. We did a prank on Zach. Which is awesome. Here's her, her base. Um, she had a, a, a wall. It's pretty cool. She has a few houses. Um, she has... This is another house. She's missing two blocks and a few other. I guess she didn't finish it. Uh, I guess it's sort of a storage system. She has another house here with sand. Uh, oh, she, that's where he, she probably made her concrete. You have a pretty cool waterfall. Over here, you have her main house. She has a couple chests down here. Oh, uh, tools, I guess. And she has a map. That's, a, that, that's actually pretty cool. I should I should have done that. Here is a. Uh, oh, it's like a, a group, like a faction. I don't know, but she she has her minerals over there. It's a pretty cool. Uh, ooh, wow, that's actually really sick. That's the first time I, I've ever seen it. There we go. Perfect. That's amazing. It actually looks really cool. Okay, so now we're on to my uh, district, uh, which is Cyan, I think. Yeah, I know colors. It's fine. Um, my base, my industrial base, that's right. I had two bases because I'm a tryhard. And uh, we also have Esme's base. So this tunnel I did not build. Uh, it, is, it was originally Esme's tunnel. So let's go to my original base first. So yeah, it's a pretty shit tunnel. I know I didn't build one. I was too busy uh, constructing my base. So yeah, here, um, here's my base. It's pretty try hard. I worked a lot, of, a lot on, on this base. So it all started with this house. Uh, I built, this is my first house I ever built on the server. And then I had the idea, wow, I really like this, this style. So I decided to make more. Then I went with this house. That actually took a, a long time to build because I'm really bad at building roofs. So yeah, over here, it's basically my super smelter with uh, my storage system. And I have a bunch of shulker boxes that was too lazy. So yeah, this was all a forest before. I had to cut it all down to make space for... Well, I was planning to build a village, but I never did it. So here is a cow farm. Here is my mob farm. Oh, well, my first one. I actually built uh, a lot of them. Uh, now this, I actually, I want to use uh, the name I, I've given it because it sounds really cool. Ultra Compact Automatic Multi Farm. Now that looks, that sounds um, amazing. I know. Okay. I, I made it up. So it's basically a pumpkin farm with a sugarcane farm. And I uh, had an uh, item elevator here with the uh, item sorter. Let's move on to my farming district. I built this uh, pretty cool bridge over here. Uh, it's a, uh, this is a pretty small bamboo farm, a uh, cactus farm. Sorry. It gives a lot of cactus. Um, this is my slime farm. I actually took out a whole chunk to build it it doesn't work really well um i don't know what i did wrong maybe i didn't if you had the right spot but it worked it worked um so this is the my iron farm it actually took a while to build because i couldn't get this freaking zombie in the right space without um iron golems killing them killing them which is annoying uh so yeah 
it's a uh, it's the first farm I built on the series and it's 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 awesome so I started uh, here you can see I put a little bit more detail in the in this part I just uh, I didn't I was too lazy to do it everywhere else um, so yeah that's basically how it started I built uh, then I, I built all the walls at the clear mountain I'll show screenshots because this took like two days of hard work just to clear out yeah like all of this this was all a mountain going taller well as tall as this I actually was planning to build a castle here never got around to finishing it final part of my base is probably my mine I, I tried to find a, a really cool spot for it and I thought oh right here it's a really cozy spot so yeah I just built an artificial cave and you can jump down here and uh, yeah, you have a pretty small mine. I didn't actually dig a lot here. Okay, so here is my industrial base. I worked a lot on this. Uh, it took a couple days to dig this hole. Uh, I use uh, TNT dupers with the flying machines. Why is there, what the fuck is this? Why, dude, get out of here. Get out of my AFK spot. So yeah, this is pretty much where I AFK in. It's a pretty simple. I put all my items in my inner chest. And it gave me a bunch of items. Uh, this is the end farm that I, I constructed with uh, Zach. It's really good. As you can see, there's a bunch of endermen that spawn and they all fall down. It, it filled all of this storage really fast, which is sad because I took a long time to build. Uh, this is like the enchantment room, which is cool. Uh, I wrote this when there's no more anvils. I just, I come refill them. And this, I built this because I was so annoyed of always running back here when I had an elytra. So that's pretty much where, um, where I enter and where I exit. So yeah, this is uh, her house. It looks awesome. Not gonna lie. Her house is really sick. That's really interesting. The, putting the glass panes and the normal glass together. That's really cool. I should do that. Jesus Christ. Okay. Um, so here you have uh, her sword system. Okay, so here you have her enchantment table. And down here is more chest. Interesting. Now, I know she had a guardian farm, but I, I think she's the only one that knows where it is. So I'm not going to go look for it. She has a cow farm uh, and a couple sheep. Uh, sheep. I mean, I met horses. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it for. Uh, that's pretty much it for the the base tours. Jesus. All right, so that's pretty much it for the base tours. Uh, everyone did incredible builds, and uh, yeah, it, it was a a really fun one month. Well, it was around one month. But yeah, we created all of this, all that you saw in this, uh, in this clip.